The 24 year old man accused of opening fire on a medical center in Atlanta appeared in court today. He was arrested Wednesday night after an hours long manhunt. Here's NBC's Morgan Chesky. This morning in Atlanta, gunman no longer on the run. This video capturing the moment police caught up with Dion Patterson. The 24 year old authorities say unleashed a deadly rampage in a hospital, launching a massive nearly day long manhunt. An undercover officer was the one that originally saw and confronted this individual. Police arresting Patterson after Wednesday's attack at Atlanta's Northside Hospital, where investigators say he pulled out a handgun and started shooting. They're now advising the active shooter, a person shot. The violence scene playing out in an 11th floor waiting room, where police say Patterson fired a hail of bullets, killing one victim. Identified as 39-year-old Amy St. Pierre, a CDC employee. Four other women were also injured. According to police, Patterson was with his mother for an unknown medical appointment, but she was not hurt during the shooting. The active shooter call placed the bustling area on lockdown, which impacted several schools, including one attended by Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock's children. There, there, I'm here. Hoping and praying that they are safe. But the truth is, none of us is safe. Barely 30 minutes after opening fire, license plate recognition cameras spotted a vehicle the shooter stole 20 miles away, near Truist Park, where the Atlanta Braves play. Those cameras proved extremely helpful today. That is where we got the precise location of the building that he walked into. Patterson, a former member of the U.S. Coast Guard, had been discharged from active duty in January after nearly five years of service. Today, the motive for the shooting remains unclear. Authorities only saying they don't believe any of the victims were targeted. This was a horrible act of gun violence. But equally horrifying is that we know that this is not unique in our country. That was Morgan Chesky reporting. Now to California, a person of interest is in custody as police look into the possibility of a serial